is the testing. It's the thing stood up. This is where we test the effect. We always do that. We first try it out and then we actually build the set with the lights and everything if we know what we're doing. You're a wizard, Harry. Follow me. We're gonna go one shopping. Now, why don't we. I killed it. <laughs> now, today we are going to recreate an epic wizard battle from Harry Potter. And for this, we need some wands. And I'm gonna use this dead tree, like you can see. Expelliarmus! Let's go back inside. For this effect, we don't really need a lot of setup. You only need a light to cast light onto you when you're performing your spell. You can, of course, do this in post production, but painting and light is really difficult and time consuming. So, whenever you get the chance, use a real light. When you're shooting with your physical light, do make sure your timing is spot on. Don't turn the light on too early or too late, since that will just look weird. Something extra we did for this effect is using a leaf blower. Every time that Jordi or I blocked the spell, we used the leaf blower to make our clothes and hair blow back on impact. Making the effect more believable. Lumos! I mean, lens flares. I mean, uh, a couple of years ago, we created this Lumos effect where we used the lens flare plugin from Premiere Pro. If only we knew about the awesome collection of lens flare on Storyblocks, the sponsor for today's video. In their ever-growing library, more than 1 million royalty-free, high-quality stock assets, you can find numerous magic-related footage. Like, for example, lens flares, particles, and these... whatever they are. Now, besides that, you can find stock assets in HD to 4K resolution, various After Effects templates, but also templates for your Premiere Pro projects, epic music for your magic videos, of course sound effects to go with your magic spells and things, and much more. Now creating these types of effects can take a while and that's why we love using Storyblocks. They really help us to bring our stories to life without sacrificing time, budget or resources. They always help us to tell our story in the best possible way. And to top that off, you can download an endless amount of assets from the library with the unlimited all access plan or you can check out the other affordable plans there is one for every need so who knows maybe you're the next dumbledore if you want to know more about storyblocks and how to start downloading right away click the first link in the description below or go straight to storyblocks.com slash cinecom the first thing we're going to create is the smoky texture of our spell so drag your clip in a composition right click here head over to new and create a solid on this solid we'll add the vr fractal noise effect once applied it's time to change some settings set the fractal type to turbulent sharp check the invert button and play around with the scale since we're casting our spell to the right let's also make this noise move to the right alt click the roll z axis stopwatch here we can type time multiply 50. once this is working like it should we can pre-com this solid layer now let's mask out a muzzle shape just like this we want to keyframe the position of this layer so that the muzzle follows the wand from where the light turns on until it turns off again let's also shorten the length of this comp to match the light turning on and off of course our flesh isn't going to be the same size over the whole duration so adjust it so that the mask goes from small to big and once the light fades out the mask can slowly get bigger over time and now comes my favorite part refining the effect to start this off change the blending mode of the comp to add head over to the effects library and add the use saturation effect turn on colorize and change the color to whatever you have in your shot by adjusting the UN saturation next up add the rough and edges effect let's increase the border decrease the edge sharpness and play around with the scale then alt click the evolution stopwatch and here you can type in time multiply 1000 this will add some movement to the edges so it's not just a static border to have a nice fade out of the smoke add the luma key effect to our clip let's increase the edge feather and now we can animate the threshold increasing from the point our light fades away just like you can see right here now let's also animate the opacity keyframe so that the smoke fades in and out making it a little bit nicer to finish it off let's add a turbulent displays effect play around with the size and animate the evolution again by by alt clicking and writing time multiply 1000. It already looks pretty good but we do miss the bright light in the middle of the spell. But this is super easy to do. Make a duplicate of our layer and let's call it inner glow. Select this and remove the luma key and turbulent displays effect since we won't need those anymore. Now it's time to adjust the mask. Make it a little bit smaller than the one we made in the beginning. And instead of slowly opening up we can close it again as you can see right here. And now it's time to add the actual glow. For this we'll need the glow effect. Obvious right? Duh. Play around with the glow threshold, glow radius and glow intensity. We can increase this effect by duplicating it multiple times onto our clip. Now of course we'll enable motion blur for all our layers and add a flare on top of the tip of our wand to bring it all together. And all of this hard work should result in a pretty cool looking spell. Oh yeah, we forgot.
forgot to mention one more thing. You can use smoke assets to make the whole motion of the spell more fluid. You can use a smoke wisp, for example, and will give that more natural look and flow. Also, you can use some sparks to make it more explosive. Jij moet allemaal eten nu, al die. Oké, I will. Hij woont. En dan ik het Am I Harry Potter? Or am I. I'm the bad guy. Duh. Okay, Lorenzo already showed us how to cast spells. Now it's time to learn how we can protect ourselves from the dark arts by creating a blocking spell. Turn to page 394. With our shot already in the timeline, we can immediately start with creating our energy cloud element. Now we can actually use the same technique that Lorenzo used previously, so this means using the VR fractal noise to create the energy cloud. However, let's do something different. We are going to use a particle system, and to be specific, particular from Red Giant. The native particle systems of After Effects will also work, but the good thing about Red Giant's particular is of course all the possibilities, but also the presets they have. To start we added the particular effect to a black solid and open up the editor. Then picked a preset we like, like this explosion right here. We fine tuned the look with spread and the color and once you are happy with your energy we can make it into a shield. Select every layer of the particle effect and pre-compose them. On the new pre comp layer we are going to add a CC sphere effect and this, believe it or not, will spherize our energy. With the rotation radius and offset, place the sphere on the right spot, meaning in front of our talent. Once in place, duplicate the energy sphere layer and disable the bottom energy layer. On the top one, we are going to add the CC vector blur effect, the turbulent displacement effect, and if you want, a glow effect. And voila, we have an energy shield, but let's also add a distortion. So create an adjustment layer between our talents layer and the bottom energy layer. And on the adjustment layer, we are going to add a displacement map effect. For the source layer, we are going to choose the bottom energy clip, the one without the extra effects. Of course, play around with the horizontal and the vertical displacement to get the right amount of displacement. Then the last thing we are going to do is add some extra minor details. Like maybe a lens flare or some smoke or whatever you want. And that's it! Well that sucks! Anyways, thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and definitely don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as that helps this video in the YouTube algorithm. Now check out the video here on my left guys for more, thank you Storyblocks for your support and as always, stay creative.